Hi there, everyone. Thank you for joining me for part two of Who is Stephen Ross in Real Life? So I want to share a little bit more. Um, in this little episode, I want to talk about why I ended up getting my doctorate. And that story goes back to when I was doing quite a bit of radio shows. Um, and I've done probably over 200 radio stations. But on some of these radio stations, I was not told that it was actually going to be a debate between myself and somebody in the medical profession. The host just didn't reveal that to me. Other shows I might be doing sharing about specific topics, but I was kind of cornered a little bit into doing a debate. Now, in many of these shows, when we started talking about facts that I would with some of the medical doctors, they would stop. And instead of answering my direct questions, they would say, well, are you a doctor? And I would have to say no. And then eventually that became so tiring for me, I decided to continue on with my business degree and get a PhD in finance. And that is my PhD. So I was so happy the next time during a show, a medical doctor said, well, are you a doctor? And I said, yes, I am. And the doctor did not have the guts to say, well, what is your doctorate in? So that ended many of the loopholes that individuals would get out of when I would be presenting facts. So when I'm referred to as Dr. Stephen A. Ross, it is in business. It is not in medicine. It actually is in uh, finance and statistics. So that is where I got my doctorate. Now, another subject I thought you might find interesting was what is my purpose for sharing? I feel very gifted and blessed that I have had a magical life where I have been able to travel around the world, have access to an enormous library of information, and I have always wanted to give back. Those individuals that have known me for going on 30 or 40 years know that I do love sharing. That is my way of giving back the blessings that I have received throughout my life. I have never charged for any counseling work. I have never charged for any of the healing work that I have done. Again, I feel blessed. I feel lucky. Now, I also have had a lot of spiritual contact um, through dreams, through direct revelations, I do feel spirit influences around me. I have felt the spirits around me when I've been doing healing work with individuals. So I believe very, very strongly in the world of spirit and spirit influences. Now, twice in my life, I really believe that I would have died if it had not been for spiritual intervention. The first time happened probably 1978 when I was driving in Colorado. I was driving through the mountains and it was a lot of snow on the ground. The road was icy. I'm a Southern California boy. I am not used to the snow. I lost control of my car going around a curve and my car was basically launched into the air off the roadway. But then everything went into slow motion. I felt a bubble come up around me and my car was lifted and placed back on the roadway against the mountain. Actually, I ended up in the opposite lane. It was late at night, but I know what happened. And at that moment, it's hard to explain to people that bubble, the slow motion, 
but I really felt and believed that there was more that I was supposed to be doing in my life. And as a result of that experience also, I count my blessings and am very thankful. Now, a second time happened uh, probably in 1988. I was driving in a car. I had stopped in the middle of an intersection looking to make a left turn and the car come in the other direction, went through the yellow light, struck my car, pushed it all the way against a cement embankment. Every window in the car just blew out and my car was crushed. But one nanosecond before that happened, everything went into slow motion. I could see the truck approaching but I felt the, the bubble that came up, everything in slow motion. Now, the car was crushed, the windows blown out. I literally had glass, and in those days I had cuffs in my pants. I had glass in the cuffs of my pants, but I stepped out of the car. I was sitting on the curb when the, the paramedics came the fire truck came and it was amazing because they said to me, where are the bodies? Where are the people in the car? And I said, I was in the car. So twice by divine intervention, I have felt blessed. I have felt um, empowered to share that there, there is spirit around us, that when we were open, there is guidance, there is love, there is beauty. So I have a background in sports. I have a background in business. I have a background in life experiences. This is what I intend to continue doing with everybody through these videos, through my, my sharing in life that we are much more than we see. There is much more going on that we are aware of in our present state of consciousness, but there is so much more. There is so much love and beauty and guidance around. Who is Steve Ross in real life? I, I am just like you. I love my rock and roll music. I love my quietude. I love where I live here in Sedona, but I also love you. And I feel a responsibility to all of you who are watching this to be the highest and brightest and best that I can be, to share with you to the extent that I can with as little ego as possible without looking to get something from you. I'm looking to give to you. I'm looking to share with you. I'm looking to love you. You are a soul. You are power. You are light. You are love. Until we meet again, I surround you with all the blessings that are possible. I love you.